Out of the theater, going into the theater pre-game on the Bob Marley biopic. I've been hearing some good things about this. It's the number one movie of the weekend, which is fantastic. I love uh, uh, those stories that can bring different audiences together. You know, big stories from people that we love, from Bruce Lee to Johnny Cash to Selena to Bob Marley. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. So. I'm looking to, uh, obviously, the music's gonna be great. I love this lead actor, Ben Adir. And uh, that's really it, man. You know, and something that I had uh, really very little interest in, I have interest in now. Okay, hit you up after the movie. I'm trying to find my space here. <laughs> Lost in the parking lot. I'll see you in a minute after the movie, bye. Hey, what's going on everyone? Paul just got out of the theater and I am a emotional mess. An emotional mess. I did not expect that. I'm thoroughly moved. I, I highly recommend this movie. The performances were just simply uh, gripping, you know, and uh, it, it takes a very uh, your standard biopic and um, really leans into the, the mission and the message of Bob Marley. It just, it just leans all the way into it. And uh, you, 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 with Kingsley, uh, his performance, it's just so irresistible. So you, you, you it, it's, so it's not a hard get you got to be dead inside to not <laughs> really uh really uh uh fall for it. yes the music's incredible uh it's uh, the filmmaking is a sensational and also too what i really appreciate is that they jump right into a a, a touch tone moment in bob marley's life and the life of his country what i also loved is that they don't shy away from Bob Marley or Rita Marley or the Marley, Marley's family Rasta religion. They are very, very religious and to where there is even um, uh, is it, uh, Ja Rastafara in his visions comes and takes Bob Marley home. I love that. Oh my God, it's just... Uh, uh, and of course, you know, you're singing all the songs and they're done at great times yeah also too they don't uh you know they don't paint bob to be a saint you know it alludes to his um womanizing and the fact that he has other has other children out of wedlock that whole thing uh but you also get what he and what he represents as far as jamaica and the nation of jamaica at that time stuff that i didn't know even though i loved his songs as a young teenager so yeah, that's my out of the theater review. I absolutely love this film. I, uh, I there was several of us clapping and singing at the end, and and uh, this is the movie we need. We need movies like this. That's this is why uh, it's the number one hit uh, in the country, and it's the number one hit. And uh, I highly recommend you go see this with family and friends. I'm probably gonna take uh, my mother. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's amazing that film and music can move you, can move people, because that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. We are, you know, and I'm so emotional because this message seems so cliche now, right? We're so cynical and jaded in this society that we made this message cliche, one love that you think of all the silliness that we argue about and um, don't, are so divided up about, we, we forget what unites us. So this movie reminds us what unites us, our humanity, right? Our passion, our love, our family. Uh, it, and uh, that's just another big reason why I was inspired by this film. So 
and go see it. That is my review. God bless wherever you're at. Keep your slab for it. Rastafari.